everyone! Today is the 12th of August and I'm in Alviat of the Council of Vila Velha de Rodao. If you're planning on moving to Portugal and thinking of doing something in tourism, um, I know there's a lot of people that have the dream of starting their own bed and breakfast in a foreign country. If you chose Portugal, this is one of the properties you should definitely look at. It's very well built, it's very well maintained and has a good name and good reviews. I am now at the front of the property. On the left side here you see the main building. And over here in front of me is the guest house. Just filming the outside first. I think we woke up the dog. Makes a nice corner here. Let's go inside. Oh wow, you immediately feel how cool this is here. What a difference from the outside. So this is the entrance hall. Very spacious. Okay, on the right side, from the front door, we have the kitchen living. Here on the left side, we have the laundry room. Bathroom. It's all very well taken care of and very clean. And you have a very big bedroom. It easily fits, as you can see, a double bed and a bug bed, and two bedside tables. They're here. Building wardrobes, little desk. This is for TV connection. And we also have air conditioning. This is the remote control. So it heats and it cools. Hey, the living. Large kitchen. Very nice. Double sinks. And here we also have access to the terrace. And this is the view to the garden and also the main house here. We'll get to that later. So from here, you have a stairs to access the garden. Can have breakfast down there, very nice. Just check the side. This in front here is the parking. Double doors and mosquito nets.
Let's see what's on the first floor. An ensuite with air conditioning. And another one sweet. So this guest house can sleep eight people. A very good space. From here we can go walk to the main building. Alright, so we're in the entrance hall and this is also the reception for the check-in of the guests. Nice little seat here, some magazines. So this is the part that the owners use. So this is their living room. And then on the other side there's the kitchen and the bed bedroom and the bathroom. And then on the first floor um, we still have two guest rooms. We're now on street level. This is the bedroom. We have a full bathroom here. the kitchen which is currently full with all my stuff <laughs> okay electric cooking a nice long counter to prepare big meals for a lot of people and then we here we still have a little storage. And then from here we just walk up to the back terrace. This is very pleasant. You can see the swing pool down there. So through this back terrace you have access from the kitchen and also from the living room. 
then up here you have more terraces which you can access via the guest rooms. to the first floor to the guest rooms. It's all so nice and clean. Oh, the guest fridge. Here we have guest room number one. Again, nice space. It's really like a hotel room. And here you have access to the terrace at the same side, a little bit higher, <laughs> better view even. It's very well located because behind there you have the A23 to Lisbon. And this would be the doors to the other guest room if we are going to go around. This is the other guest room. So, these are the doors to the back side of the terrace. And here, we have access to the front side as well. So quiet. And here we have an office and some storage for the linen. Could be even another bedroom if needed. Now we go 
actually attack. Great storage space here. <laughs> Big water heater. Still, you have a compartment over here. It's not being used at the moment. The storage enough here. Even cooler in here. Big space here. You can easily fit two cars. Yeah. And an extra bathroom. And this would be the central heating system. Right, yes. Uh, this, uh, the muscle, the muscle yeah, and it's off now. <laughs> no need for heating. <laughs> so, I came through here. And there's still storage space over here. Carriage, and then we have the Adega, very big one. <laughs> they call it the Adega. So you can play some tennis over here. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, alles mag dicht. Yeah. Oh, so extra towels, always handy. This is very nice here, breakfast area. Look at this. It's so cozy. And I just need to point out this eye for detail. These little decorations everywhere. Beautiful. old-fashioned washing machine the palm this is all very well thought of okay so if you're still with me this here is the guest house for the eight people.
And when we were on the terrace up here, okay, which came from the kitchen, we looked upon this part here. Yes, and here you have an access to the terrace again. They have an irrigation system here, automatic, and <laughs> that's why they still have flowers. And uh, now we're gonna go to the pool area. It's so clean everywhere, there's not even a like a little leaf on the path. <laughs> oh, and that looks so tempting. This is a salt water pool. And of course a solar shower, unmissable in this area. And from here you have a good idea of the size of this house. Wow. pump house all brand new material recently renovated at this pump house looks like it's even insulated yes you feel it balloon pressure balloon filter this is for the salt water regulation So it has the timer for the, um, yeah, the irrigation. All right. Now we're back and through here we go to the front of the house again. So as you can see there's uh, two parkings here in front, two private parking spaces. But also, you can park up here, so you can enter the car and you have enough space to park as well. So, who's up for the challenge to keep this property as clean and tidy and well maintained as it is. Thank you for watching this video tour. Even though I'm working, I feel like I'm a little bit on holiday here. If you would like to receive more information about this bed and breakfast property, send me an email at info at homekeyportugal.com. The price of this property is in the description below. Thank you again and see you next time.